not the next race is uh, the race where I think there's a lot of rooting interest, but it's on the favorite. In the Philly Merit Turf, we all want to see last year's runner-up get the money this year. Yeah, folks, the you know the Philly and Mare Turf is going to be the most emotionally charged race of the of the Breeders' Cup with Lady Eli looking to close her career out with a big win and lock up her first Eclipse Award. Everything's aligning perfectly for Lady Eli in here because I think if Chad Brown could pick a distance, an ideal distance for Lady Eli to run, he would choose the mile in an eighth. That is the distance that they are running at Del Mar. Um, I got Lady Eli on top. I think she's going to be a winner. It's not going to be easy. There are some very good horses in in the race, like Rhododendron, another Aiden O'Brien, Ryan Moore horse um, that is my second choice. And my third choice is Cambodia from the barn of Tom Proctor. He's very good training uh, horses on the turf. And this one's been running in Del Mar. Got two big, excellent races uh, on the Del Mar turf. Yeah, well, I'm with you, Matt. Uh, you're, you're talking about a lot of the things that I think, too. Lady Eli at nine furlongs. We should also mention her form in California. Uh, obviously, she likes the firm turf out there. And uh, yeah, I think nine furlongs is her ideal distance. I think she's a better uh, filly and mare now this year. Uh, two years removed from laminitis at the age of five than she was last year when she just barely got beat uh, in a longer uh, Breeders' Cup filly and mare turf. So, yeah, she's she's clearly number one for me. There are a lot of good fillies in here. It's an interesting race. But on the other hand, I don't know if there's really one filly that stood out to me as the horse most likely to beat Lady Eli. Uh, Rhododendron, I worry about uh, the firm turf, if she's quite as good on real firm turf. And Nine Furlongs Rhododendron, certainly, uh, you know, she's got the class to be the second choice in here. But I, I think she's beatable. For that reason, I went with some others in the two and three spot. And I really looked to, to last year's result. It, uh, after after I came to my top three, I realized how close it was to last year. Queen's Trust, uh, I think she legs from turf as we saw last year. We saw it also this year with a very nice performance at Ascot. She's been running against very good horses and she's been getting turf courses or paces probably that won't set up as well as it will on uh, Saturday at Del Mar. So I think Queen's Trust, last year's winner, uh, runs another good race, and I think once again she'll have some real odds in here. So Queen's Trust is my second pick, and Avenge. I think Avenge has always been taken a little bit for granted. She ran really well last year, and uh, she's only run a few times this year, but she's getting better with each start. I expect Avenge kind of stalking the pace to run another very good race in the Breeders' Cup Philly Mare Turf first. So she's my third pick in uh, in a race with a lot of horses. Uh, hoping to run their best, but uh, Lady Eli is the one to beat.